What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about 7 different ways that you can make money playing video games on the internet. Now before I go any further, I just wanted to give a shout out to Local Uprising. Um, I actually know the... Before I go any further, I just want to give a quick shout out to Local Uprising, the company that made this hoodie and the design, the logo, everything like that. Um, it's actually the one of the winners of my shout out contest from like a million years ago, if you guys uh, remember that video that I posted on my channel um, Big Reed actually is one of the homies that won that and I've been kept I've kept him in contact with him he's a really cool dude um, on Twitter and on like Instagram YouTube everything like that um, and this is actually a clothing line that he started I guess and um, you know he hit me up and asked me if I wanted anything um, and this hoodie is so sick so it's even got like a logo on the back here I don't know if you can see that um, but it's L-U-R for Local Uprising, and it's just absolutely, it's just such a cool hoodie. Uh, so I wanted to give them a shout out because some of the designs are really, really awesome. So if you want to check that out, go to lurclothes.com. Um, and you can check out like their t-shirts, they have hats, literally everything. Anyway, let's get right into the topic of the video, right? That's why you clicked on the video. You want to know, okay, I'm New York, how do I make some, uh, how do I make some money playing video games, right? Because I'm spending all my time at my day job, I don't have enough time to do the things I love, which is, you know, play, uh, you know, League of Legends or Minecraft, Fortnite, whatever it is you play, Call of Duty, um... You're like, hey, what the heck, you know, I don't have time to do that stuff, why don't I just make money doing the things I like to do, and uh, now we're talking. So, the reason that I'm talking about this, right, is because the gaming niche, or the gaming niche, depending on how you want to say it, um, and the esports niche, these things are blowing up. They've been huge for a couple of years now, but they're getting even bigger. Um, there's actually a headline the other day that said the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas I was actually converting their nightclub into a flagship esports gaming venue. Like, that is is huge like like big cities are actually investing companies are investing in having big esports arenas um, to pull in uh, you know a ton of um, actual people from around the world you know having big you know places where people can go to meet up for events or for you know event you know just anything like that um, so that's why I'm talking about this right because esports and gaming it's just a huge niche it's growing uh, very quickly and it's gonna keep growing for the next couple years so you know, getting in now um, is a really great place to be. So let's talk about some of the different ways that you can actually make money. Now, the primary one that people, you know, when you say, oh, I, you know, how do I make money playing games? The primary thing that people think of is streaming, right? Um, and I'm going to talk about YouTube videos later on in the video, but uh, streaming is probably the, the first thing that comes to mind where you basically play a game and stream it to Twitch or YouTube or wherever, uh, and you get followers who watch your stuff, and then you can get paid from um, donations, or you can get paid through people subscribing to your channel, um, or you can get paid through sponsorship deals or anything along those lines. Um, so that's probably the first thing. Now, uh, one thing I want to talk about here, right, is because uh, that's not, you know, uh, knowledge that's hard to come by, right? Everybody knows you can make money streaming on Twitch. Um, so I wanted to expand on that a little bit and maybe give you something that you didn't know. Um, <clears throat> the first thing, and I'm actually looking at notes here because I took a couple of notes. Um, the first thing is using a site like Restream.io. Now, I don't have any affiliation with them. This is not like a paid plug or anything like that. Um, and I'm sure there's other, you know, uh, services similar to theirs. But basically what you do is you stream to Restream.io and it actually forwards that stream to Twitch. YouTube, Facebook Live, Hitbox, like literally all these different places. Um, so it's actually a really, really great way to, to grow your audience in multiple places at the exact same time, right? So you don't have to worry about, oh, should I stream to Twitch or should I stream to YouTube? You know, if you're just starting out, you don't have to make that decision. Just stream to both at the same time. Um, and, and that's really, really going to help you out grow multiple platforms. Um, and, you know, it's obviously going to be slow at first, but having a presence everywhere is better than having presence in only one of those places um, also uh, the other thing is using SEO uh, if you guys don't know what SEO is it's search engine optimization and it's basically um, a term that is thrown a lot uh, thrown around a lot in like the blogging world and and in the ad revenue world um, a lot of marketing stuff if you guys didn't know I actually graduated with a degree in marketing a bachelor's in marketing um, and business administration so I know a lot about marketing and the thing about uh, the gaming scene is that a lot of people don't right a lot of people who are professional gamers 
they're professional gamers because they didn't go to college or they didn't, um, you know, study up on that stuff. And that's not to say that they haven't ever, right? They obviously have huge channels. I'm sure they know some stuff. Um, but a majority of your competition as a starting streamer or a starting YouTuber uh, isn't going to know what SEO is. They're not going to know how to uh, maximize SEO to get more viewers and more clicks. Um, and what I'd like to talk about is, you know, using the right keywords in your stream titles in the descriptions of your channels uh, things like that are going to help you show up more in you know in um, search engines right so if you have your streams saved like to your um, to your twitch account or whatever uh, having that title be optimized with certain keywords maybe like you know um, if you stream Call of Duty right you could have a stream titled like you know playing like Optic Scumpy right and then Optic Scumpy is actually in the title of your stream and then when it gets saved to Twitch now if someone Google's Optic Scumpy um, the odds are that you, that stream isn't gonna be the first thing to come up right because he's famous so this stuff's gonna be everywhere um, but because that keyword is in there it's actually gonna rank higher on the search engine so doing that over and over again with different different keywords that people are looking for are gonna help index your um, your Twitch channel and your YouTube channel and everything like that to show up more in Google searches which in turn is going to drive traffic over time. It's not an overnight thing, it's not going to be quick and instantaneous, but it's definitely um, a little advantage that like I said, 95% of your competition competition in this streaming space isn't going to know about that. Um, so that's streaming. Um, the next thing I want to talk about are some affiliate programs. Now if you guys don't know what affiliate programs are. They're basically um, a it's a product usually something that you would buy you know physically a physical good you know like um, like let's say I promoted this blue yeti uh, microphone um, <clears throat> and I said hey go in the description there's a link to buy it's a really great microphone which it is um, and I'm not getting paid to say this but um, so where I would talk about the benefits of using a yeti right and then in the, in the link there's a referral link and if you click on that and buy it using my link I actually get a cut of the sale. Now, there are things um, in the gaming niche, gaming specific things, uh, that involve affiliate marketing. So one of them, and, and I actually haven't used this myself, um, but I, it looks like a really, really great thing to do if you can really push this, uh, especially if you can grow an audience, is uh, something called VideoGamesPayMyBills.com. Um, it's VGPMB, I guess, and, and I'm sure there are other sites just like this, but basically what you do um, is you go on the site and you buy their program. I think it's 200 bucks or something like that it's a one-time fee um, and it gives you like a ton of information on how to get paid um, playing video games it's just a bunch of like how-to manuals how to grow on twitch how to grow on YouTube how to create a website for gaming how to get sponsorships um, like like razor stuff like that how to be a game tester like how to literally get paid to play games um, flipping video flipping like re retro games and stuff like that so you basically buy this product and it, and it teaches you how to do all of those things and then if you can sell that product to someone else you can make between 50 and 100 bucks um, depending on how many people buy it right so you know that's a really great thing you know if you want to teach somebody how to make money playing video games then you can actually send them your referral link for this program that will teach them exactly that uh, and then you will make 50 to 100 bucks just if they buy that program and in turn they're gonna learn how to do that themselves uh, and it kind of goes like that so that's just um, one affiliate offer that I came across that you know is um, is something they might want to look into because you know, making fifty dollars per sale is a really big deal, and of course, you can promote this on a website. You can promote it on YouTube. Um, you can promote it like midstream if you want to just advertise it. Uh, you can promote it on your Facebook account, right? Um, and that's another thing I want to talk about, right? Like, if you play games, a lot of chat, a lot of times, um, your friends play games too. So don't be afraid to use Restream.io uh, to stream to your Facebook because I'm sure you have friends who want to watch you play games. Uh, and streaming is such a no pun intended mainstream thing to do these days that it's not as weird as it used to be like four years ago. Like everyone kind of knows about streaming now. Um, so that's another thing. So promoting that on Facebook too isn't a big deal. Like I'm sure you have friends who play games and would like to make money playing them. Um, and there's other you can like look into other things. You don't have to use that specifically. Like I said, I've never used them before. Um, so that's just another another thought. Now let's get into another one that um, is probably a little bit less viable now than it has been in the past. Uh, but it is called 
Uh, and this is, again, this is a website that I found. I'm sure there are tons like it. Uh, but if you go to killerguides.net, um, you can actually write your own game guides on depending on what your specific niche is like if you're good at call of duty you can write a game like a game guide on how to beat the story mode for call of duty or like advantages tips and tricks on how to get through the story mode or you can write a game guide about rpgs like if you want to you know teach someone how to build like a really really good class setup for a certain moba or i'm not MOBA, not moba um well you could do it for mobas i guess too but um for like an mmo or something like that like how to make like a uh, a death knight um whatever in world of warcraft like you can make a guide about it uh, and you can sell that game guide on the internet um or you can actually go to killerguides.net and you can sell other game guides and this works very similar to um the affiliate program that i was talking about before where if you if you like make a video talking about oh you know here's my class setup for so and so game and you know this is how you know i, I learned all this stuff and you know, I don't have the time to tell you, make a full length video about it because it took me 20 plus hours of grinding to get all the gear and everything like that. Um, you can link, say, hey, you know, I have a link down below if you guys want to, if you want a guide to basically build the same character that I play in World of Warcraft or whatever it is, um, go down below, click the, um, the link and uh, you can purchase the guide and if they do then you make a cut of that so that's another affiliate type of thing uh, but it's it's harmless right like you're not scamming people with these things um, game guides you know some people who are really really like top players uh, have knowledge that is worth money right so you know you can you can do these things and, and you'd be bringing value to the to the customer the person that's buying these stuff like these game guides right um so the next thing that um, you can do or that you could sell through you know various channels again right like be creative with this stuff grow grow a youtube channel grow a twitch um and i'm going to talk a little bit about youtube again later on um grow a, a website everything like that you know these are things are you can learn how to do these things for all, like almost nothing like you can build a website for like twenty dollars if if that it might even be cheaper um depending on how you do it just a simple wordpress website and it's very easy to do um so you can build a website you know around this stuff um so another thing is uh like a, being a steam broker right so games like csgo uh, have skins for different guns and, and knives and all sorts of weapons and th things like that. And there are other games on Steam that also do the same type of thing. Um, and there is there are websites out there where you can actually... Um, if you go to sell something, right, like, you can sell your own stuff. Like, if you have skins on CSGO that are worth money, you can sell them on these websites. But also, if someone else posts a listing, um, certain websites, um, you can actually... If you sell that item for them in the same fashion that we've been talking about below, uh, you'll actually get a cut of whatever that person purchases. So, you know, if a skin is worth, you know, five dollars, for example, and let's say your cut is ten percent, I don't actually know what it is because um, I, I don't play CS:GO or anything like that. But this is just—I'm just getting this stuff out there, right? Because I don't know what you guys do. So, if I just tell you all the methods that I know, I'm sure you can do at least one of these things. Um, so, you know, let's say you get 10%, then, you know, you just made 50 cents um, on a low cost thing. And if you get, you know, a couple thousand views every video and you promote every video, um, that's, you know, $20, $40 a month that you can be getting just from having that link in your bio and basically plugging it once a video saying like, hey, you know, this is the skin I've been using playing in this match. Like if you want it, click below. Something like that, you know, and again, you can do it for other games. CSGO is not the only one, but it's definitely a very big one. Um, so you can make money selling these skins um, online. And again, you don't even have to do it through a referral program. If you just have skins that are worth money, you can sell them. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is game servers. Now this is like uh, Woody's gamer tag and other people obviously um, have had Minecraft servers over the years that have made them like tons, like full time income. Like, like you would quit your job if you had their income off of game servers and you can host servers for other stuff it doesn't have to be minecraft um, there are tons of other games that require dedicated servers or you can start your own server for it um, and this works especially well if you have a channel or a you know community around you um, so you know that's a that's one way that you can basically create your own server and it's not that difficult you can learn how to do that like we are in 2018 you can learn how to do a ton of stuff for free um, so you can look on YouTube on how to make your own game server it's not that difficult uh, and you can either charge people to access it or you can have it free but there'll be 
um, perks to paying for certain stuff in game. Uh, so that is another big thing that you can do is you can host your own game server and kind of build a community around it, um, which is uh, you know you can use Discord with that as well. So Discord's another you know uh, program application that is has grown tremendously in the last couple of years. I'm sure if you're subscribed to me, you know what Discord is. Um, and you can use Discord servers to keep in touch with your community and make sure your community is growing and thriving. And the more people, um, ultimately, the more you will make, right? And building a community is awesome in itself, so I don't want to sound like, you know, it's all for the money. Um, but of course, the, you know, the bigger your community, the more subs you have, the more people playing on your server, the more money you'll likely make. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is um, the niche for gaming peripherals. So things like uh, Razer products, right, like Razer keyboards and Razer uh, mouse and things like that, those peripherals or accessories, whatever you want to call them, they can go for a pretty penny, like they can be pretty expensive. Um, so it might be difficult, right, for a company to justify, a company like Razer to justify spending $80, $90 on a mouse because this one was like... 15 20 bucks and I bought it so long ago um, and it's obviously lasted a long time so people say well you know I can get a, a mouse that'll last me four years for 20 bucks why well, how long could an $80 mouse last how much longer could possibly make like you know what I mean um, so it might be difficult for a company like that to convey the value in their products even though they're there so if you can convince people that it would up your game if you owned Razer products. You can actually make commission selling Razer products, right? Um, you can sell their, you would get an affiliate link, like I've talked about in this video, for their their mice, their keyboard, stuff like that. Those peripherals, I, I believe you get like 4% of whatever, you, whatever they are um, per sale. Or if you sell their software, which sometimes they'll try and bundle it so that way, you know, a customer will be, you know, as like an add-in, like if they add the um, the mouse to the cart, right, it'll say, hey, do you want to add on this, uh, you know, customization software for X amount of dollars? If you sell their software, you get 20% of that software sale, right? So if the software is um, 20 bucks, then you're making $4 for just selling them software. So, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot for one sale, but the uh, the, the whole point is that if you build a YouTube channel or a, and or, should I say, and or a Twitch channel and a blog or website, again, costs like 20 bucks to start one, um, and you promote it there as well, and then on top of that, um, <clears throat> You know, you promote it on your Facebook, and you grow a Twitter page, and you promote it on Twitter, and you shout it out on your Snapchat that you are cross-promoting on everywhere. You know, on your videos, your streams, everything is saying, hey, follow me on Snapchat. You promote it on Snapchat. So getting all of these, you know, um, they all kind of feed themselves, you know, these these methods, uh, and it'll, you know, you're not making one sale for $4, you know, you're making 100 sales for $400, you know what I mean? Um, and that's from all aspects pointing to that same affiliate link. So that's another option that you could do, you could sell those peripherals, and the other thing too is you could probably sell them on... Amazon maybe um, I don't know so there's a ton of different ways to actually make money doing this stuff um, now the other thing that I, the, the last thing the seventh and final method that I want to talk about is YouTube videos right now this is how I don't make a lot of money on YouTube but I have made money from YouTube for sure full disclosure I have made money off of ad revenue on YouTube and this is how I've done it um, of all the things on this list um, this is the one that has made me the most money I'm just looking Yes, this is the one that has made me the most money um, is doing this, is making YouTube videos. So um, what you do, right, and people are saying, OmniArk, I know. I know that you can make money on YouTube. That's why I clicked on this video. Why did you wait till the end? Because I want to be able to ramble about it. So if you don't, if you didn't care about YouTube, you can leave now. Um, but if you do care about YouTube and you want to build a YouTube channel, then I will talk briefly about it. There's no way I could tell, talk to you. There's so much involved with YouTube, right? From editing software to what equipment to use to how to even edit. Um, there's a ton. And I could spend hours and hours talking about how to grow on YouTube. But the quick breakdown is, right? SEO, which is what I mentioned before, search engine optimiz optimization, pick a niche. So if you want to do first person shooter games, um, if, here's some a personal tip. Don't niche down too specific that you don't think you can keep it up for a very long time because it's going to take a while to build your audience. It may take a couple of years to build your audience, right? 
Um, and you can obviously accelerate that depending on how much time and effort you put in. So do something like first person shooters, right? So that way you don't have to just play one game, you could play all first person shooters. Or you could do MOBAs, right? You could do League of Legends or Heroes of the Storm or whatever, or Dota 2, obviously. Or you could do card games where you can play, um, you know, Hearthstone or you can play Yu Gi Oh! online or you can do the Pokemon TCG. Uh, there's all these uh, mobile games. There's so many mobile games that where you can do like Clash Royale or Clash of Clans or Candy Crush or, you know, there's obviously strategy games, Game of War, if people still play that. I don't know. Um, so there's all these different niches. Just dedicate your channel to that. Have a user, have a interface, right? Or a, I'm sorry, a, like a, a banner or some sort of overlay is what we would call it here on YouTube. So that way your videos look professional. You want to stand out. Uh, the quality of your videos matters. So recording in HD will matter. Um, if you can put a put a webcam on there, and that doesn't have to be the the first thing, right? Like you don't have to have all this stuff from the beginning. What's most important is actually making videos with good thumbnails and good SEO, good keywords in the titles and in the descriptions, um, and using them to link to your, hopefully, your website and your Instagram and Facebook page and Twitter, um, and linking to your Snapchat and putting referral links and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so what's important is that you start, right? First off, start. Learn how to do get better at editing videos, making thumbnails, and learn about better keywords to use. And then over time, upgrade your quality. So have uh, an Elgato to record um, gameplay, um, have an HD webcam, have a, up, a, a good microphone instead of just like an onboard microphone, um, things like that. Now, some things that you want to you might want to do are talk about top players in your th in your field, and we mentioned this earlier in the video. Um, using their names as keywords is going to be really, really, really big because, uh, like I said, esports is actually growing really quickly. So there's going to be even more people searching for these players in the coming months. You know, so it's it's actually expanding. So the odds of your video getting clicked on a couple months from now are actually pretty good. Uh, because this whole field is expanding. Whereas if you made a fidget spinner video right now, um, the odds are it probably wouldn't be as clicked as it would have been uh, on, what, like a year ago now or a couple months ago um, because that fad is, is pretty much over. So, um, yeah. So, so you know, the, you are in a, a period where it's still expanding. So definitely capitalize with um, top players, famous YouTubers who already do it, right? Um, you could talk about, like, you know, a video saying like, oh, you know, how much money does, uh, I've done this before, actually, I made a video, how much money does Nade Shot make? Uh, and that, that was one of the first videos that actually started to do really well on my channel, because I made it a really long time ago, back when he was an Optic, and I made a video, how much money does Nade Shot make? And I kind of just talked about Nade Shot making money, um, and, and it did well for my channel side back then, like, I had, like, I don't know, 100 subscribers or less, and it got hundreds of views, so that definitely helped me grow my channel, so things like that. Um, are really going to help you grow your YouTube channel. Also, playing new games in your niche is going to help, right? Like if I made a, um, let's say, a Fallout 3 Let's Play, right? Fallout 3 has been out for a very long time, and Fallout 4 has even been out for a couple of years now too. So if you're going to do that, you, know, you might want to play either Fallout 4 or play with maybe some new mods, um, or play other survival horror games. I know Fallout isn't really a survival horror, but you know what I'm saying. You know, play if you're gonna play Call of Duty. Call of Duty is a little bit weird, but it's probably better to play Call of Duty World War II than even Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, whatever. Because even though you know those of us who are really in the community don't really like the newer Call of Duty as much as something like Black Ops 2 or 3. Um, that's not taking into account the vast majority of the population who doesn't even give a shit about YouTube, who doesn't even really know that you can make money on YouTube, and they just occasionally will search up, you know, they just got Call of Duty World War II, and they just want to know the best gun, you know, so they're, the odds are the, the public that isn't making YouTube videos, and this is hard, you know, if you make videos, it's hard to think like them because you are so immersed in this culture, but the vast majority of people don't make YouTube videos on Call of Duty, so they don't know that Black Ops 2 is better than World War 2. So they're playing World War 2. They don't even know any better. So the 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 majority of the public's actually searching for World War 2 just because it's newer. So 
that's another tip. You know, if you're going to grow your channel, play what's hot. Play the newest stuff. Play Fortnite, PUBG, stuff like that. You know, um, that's a really, really great way to grow your channel. Anyway, so that is seven ways that you can actually make money playing video games. A lot of it has to do with affiliate links. Um, some of it has to do with uh, the bigger your audience, obviously, the more money you'll make from all of this stuff. Uh, but I wanted to get your, you know, the juices flowing in your head. You know, how can I make money? It's 2018. Will the tactics from 2016 still work? You know, these are some things that I wanted to just touch upon and just talk to you about because gaming and esports is still growing. It's still getting bigger. 2018 is probably going to be a huge year for gaming, right? Um, so I wanted to drop this at the beginning of the year and say, start now. Um, that way, when the Christmas rush comes in 2018, and uh, we see a really sweet Treyarch game for Call of Duty, or we see you know some big AAA title releases, uh, your channel will be bigger then than it is now at zero. So um, that's kind of why I wanted to make this video. The other thing that I wanted to mention again. Local Uprising, shout out to them. Uh, make sure you go to lourclothes.com uh, if you want to take a look at their stuff. Link will be in the description below. I don't have an affiliate link with them. Um, I don't actually make, if you buy something there, I don't make money. Uh, I don't care. I, they just, it's a sweet hoodie. I thought this hoodie was dope. Um, so, yeah, I'm basically just shouting out a homie just because he's the homie. So that's about it. Um, the last thing, the last thing that I want to talk about, and this is for the true people who care about my content, and this is going to help you make some money, so listen up, because this is a this is important, right? Um, I actually, everything I've talked about in this video, I actually wrote an article about on my website, and you're probably thinking, Omni, what website? You don't have a website, you just have social media links. I do! I do have a website, actually, it's called graystonestrategy.com, um, and it's pretty much removed from my YouTube channel. The only commonalities that it has between my YouTube channel and my website are that I made them. That's pretty much it. Um, and my website is relatively new. It has to do with uh, ways that you can grow your business, grow your social me media presence, um, and make money online. Um, so I have a couple of articles up there already about growing your business, growing your online presence, things like that. This article, uh, uh, talking about this stuff here, is also going to be on my website. Um, so if you're interested in wanting to take a look at the articles that I've written about growing your online presence and growing your business and stuff like that, you can click the link below, go to graystonestrategy.com. Um, also, I have some stuff on there to help you. Like, if you want to literally pay to have your Instagram grow at, like, a much quicker rate than it's growing right now, um, I have services on there that will help you do it. They're very, very affordable. Um, and I even have a free ebook on my website, How You Can Grow Your Instagram Very, Very Fast. Um, and it's completely free, so there's free stuff on my website too, so that, that, that you guys might be interested in, right? Like I talked in this video about have, how, like having a big audience to promote these things to. Um, Instagram is a huge one right now, so if you want a free ebook on how you can, uh, it's basically like a little training manual on how you can, it's some big tips to grow your Instagram. Um, it's free on my website, so make sure you go check that out. Again, I put this at the end because not maybe you guys don't really care too much about um, growing your business, your online presence, and you just were here for the seven tips, and that's fine. Um, but if you do care about that stuff, which I really think you should, I mean, if you're going to grow a YouTube channel, you should also grow a Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and everything like that. So if you're interested about growing your online presence, visit my new website, uh, graystonestrategy.com. Link again is in the description, and link to all the stuff that I talked about in this video is going to also be in the description. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I know I haven't uploaded in like two weeks or whatever. It's been a minute, but that's because I've been working a lot and I've been busy and I've also been tired. I just, I hate the winter. It's dark early. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so this video is way too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.